It's VMware. Like the uh, virtual? Yeah, it's its problem. Hello all, welcome back to another edition of Sunday. Hello everyone, this is Victoria. Victor here. And today we're going to do something uh, very new and very different. Um, we're going to do some realistic portrait drawing. Oh, sketching. that's nice. Yeah. So, uh, something different. A little change of, uh, change of pace. pace. Yeah. Yeah, so I already started working a little bit on, uh, on this Russian, Russian girl. Or just, just this ordinary girl. She used to have a turban though, but I kind of changed that around. Didn't really like the turban that much. So now I'm just going to do a little bit more imaginary stuff with the hat. But faces, try to stick as identical to the actual model. So, okay, let's get, let's get started. I'm still sniffling. Okay. How's your day doing today, Victor? Oh, not bad. Sunday, end of the week, start of the week. Mm -hmm. So. Any plans for the week? Oh, nothing really. Nothing really. Penny for your thoughts. Penny for my thoughts. How do we know she's Russian? Uh, we don't. 
don't because I did not have a background check on this model. No, oh, okay. Uh, so it's, just, it is from model then. It is from model though, but I usually just I just pick uh, picture references uh, just by appearance wise and just um, uh, light lighting wise too. Okay. Like if so. it's a good lighting, I'll I'll pick it up. Yeah, I think the hat makes it look Russian more than anything else. Yeah, it just turn it just turn out that way just because of the shape. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that the shape of the original? It can't be the shape of the original turban. No, the turban was more like that, more straight. Oh, okay. Or like more and more straight. So you like just this. made it like a little more yeah. angled. It looks like one of those yeah. fur hats. Yep. It's only those key things where you kind of swap and switch and add that in and then it, it looks like something completely different than what it used to be mm -hmm. but yeah so this is is it just going to be a head or is it going to be part of a body as well uh there's not much for her body apparently <laughs> okay. so these random frills okay so it'll just be pretty abstract for the body and yeah, for the background but most likely probably just going to be a random mod uh, Different varieties of uh, tones. Okay. D different variety of shades and tones, yeah. That's what I learned. Those are the words that I was looking for. It's expensive though. <coughs> oh, no, just hang on. Uh, things that happen with mechanical pencils sometimes. You get lose stuck. the lead. No, you lose the lead, uh, they get stuck because the thing's not pushing it out. To a point you have to throw away the mechanical pencils. Oh, really? It's, yeah, it's it's the metal thing that's inside. Uh, I've, I've actually never had to throw away a mechanical pencil before. They've always been pretty good. You see good. that thing? That golden thing? Yeah. So sometimes... Well, I guess it's not, not true. Maybe I, not I might have thrown them one or two out because of that. Mm, it's been too long. Oops. Oh, no. Snap the lead. The needle. Oh no. It's a surgeon. Uh, well, no, it's a. Needle. Yeah. Assembling, deassembling mechanical pencil. <laughs> yeah, Been assembling, disassembling. Yeah, assembling, disassembling pens is fun. Well, that's only if you want to, like, replace the, uh. No, just, just as a fidget. Just as a fidget tool, it's fun. Mm -hmm. I haven't, do, uh, I haven't done any uh, ballpoint pen drawing for a long time. Ballpoint pen's different. Ballpoint pen is it's different thicker. It's regular pen. Yeah, it's thicker, so no, you're... it's actually thinner. Ballpoint? Yeah. Then pencil? Oh, uh, well, you can get thinner ones. Yeah, I guess so. Because the, the, the regular point is 0 0.7, right? You can get thinner. There's those mechanical pencils where you can get 0 0.2. That's, that's quite the thin ones, but those mm. are expensive ones. Pencil yeah, those leads I'm pretty sure break pretty. Well, not only that, the pencil itself is like I don't know, twenty bucks. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah mechanical pencil can get pretty expensive. You don't buy those regular big ones, the packaged. I think the big ones are fine. Yeah, they are. They're actually pretty decent. Those ones actually come in zero point five, so I think you got zero point seven, zero point five. Those are the most standard, uh, standard sizes for. And then you got the the old, the good old actual pencil. Yeah, the, the, the one of the biggest thing I found with mechanical pencils, you can't really use them sideways. I mean, you can the lead is so thin, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't mm -hmm. use it kind of like a charcoal stick, because a pencil kind of does. You can kind of do both duties with that. You can draw with it straight and have that very very mm -hmm. fine point, and you can also uh, turn it sideways and draw with a broader broader uh, lead surface you can't really do that with a mechanical I, I pencil use both for different purposes. yeah yeah but you can't really do that with a mechanical pencil you're kind of restricted to the just the one mode type of thing you still use tetralion or no i don't use that anymore uh, i use called i use something that's called a finger a finger a finger yeah. well then you have to wash it afterwards mm. So I'm talking about washing. I should put this pad in <laughs> paper before it gets really dirty. Yeah, that'll happen. Let's see your hand. Is it dirty already? 
starting to. Okay. It's not as bad because I didn't go over here yet. Yeah, not yet. It's not, it's not like uh, the other anime drawings that they went all over the place. With this, I'm more careful because I know I don't want to smudge it. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, I mean, the darker your lead, your softer your lead, the more likely it is to smudge. Yeah, the more metallic it looks. Remember last time we were talking about that? Yeah, but I mean, just smudging in general. I mean, smudging H is quite hard. No, it's not. H pencil to smudge? This is H. It smudges That's easy. HB. Oh. A regular H pencil, like a 2H or something, would be much harder to smudge than a 6B. Yeah, but it's so hard. Yeah. To, to, to a point where it's so hard, like 9 inch can start scratching your paper off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather choose softer ones over harder ones. And then there's the ones that are like, I don't know, like the F. It's like... F? What's the F again? It's like an in-between. It's oh. just a really weird one. It's like an HB almost. Uh, softer than HB, but harder than a 2B. It's like a weird... Oh, okay. It's the ones that people, I don't think so, people just, it's it's there, but nobody uses it. It's, it's kind yeah. of sad. Everybody knows about it, but nobody uses it. Oh, everybody says, oh, yeah, if I'm going to use an F, no, I'd rather it's, just or use. Or it's more like, it's like, uh. Insert your pencil no, 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 choice. No, it's like, the series sells it, though, but not a lot of people buy it. Yeah, yeah. Unless if you get that odd person that only buys F. Mm, I've never seen that, but okay. Well, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there are, yeah. The person that I mean, F is kind of like those things where it's like, um, I know it exists, but I'd rather just use, and then insert your pencil of choice. Mm -hmm. There's so many alter alternatives for supplies. Mostly with, mostly with art. There's so many alternatives. <laughs> There's alternatives to alternatives. You can always or find something cheaper. Yeah, where, it's, where, like, for piano, it's like, you can only go so far. Yeah, you've only got certain... You piano has the cheapest. Oh, so no, I mean, no, I mean, there's, you can find cheap pianos. It's, the cheap piano is not the problem. It's just... <clears throat> but yeah, you can't replace a piano with something else. No, you can't. Yeah. Not really. Yeah, at least you can replace an, an artist-grade pencil with a just regular school pencil. Yeah, with a, yeah, usually it works just fine, right? Yeah. Ninety percent of it. As long as you, the, the key is not the material. Like there's there's nothing special about a brush, or there's nothing special about a pencil. It's the way you use it. Yeah, I mean the artist accounts for like ninety nine percent of the work, and then the tool is just the last one percent of it. It's like if you can make great art with a very crappy pencil, you can make great even better art with a really good pencil, right? Same thing. I guess so. It's like. It's like when you were learning piano, but you had headphones on, and you were wearing gloves. And you were playing a really out-tune piano. Headphones and then if you can play through that, yeah. if you can play through that, then I don't think so you have to worry about playing with no gloves, no headphones, and a very well-tuned piano. Yeah, same thing. Alright. It just kind of bring the... the the, the difficulty or the, the challenging um, obstacles that you have to uh, come over, right? You start harder, anything easier than that is very easy, right? But if you start easy and kind of go harder, it's, it's a lot harder that way. So what are you gonna, so is the face? No, it's not done. <laughs> to your, no, yeah, I know it's not done, but is the face to your liking before you work on something else? Or are you gonna, do the touch up the face a little more before you go to the other parts of the drawing it's a back and forth process i see where it needs more work which is everywhere <laughs> but the key the the goal is to get it finished right there's no point kind of jumping all over the place which i'm doing right now <laughs> so yeah just kind of pinpointing see where you need to where you need to uh add more Refining, more refining, areas you need more refining. Checking values, that's very important. Yeah, if you get your values wrong, then what happens? Uh, it'll look very unrealistic. Let's put it that way. Because you're, you're, you're either keeping some tones the same where they're actually 
uh, there's a difference between the two tones, like darker or lighter. And then you have two that's like the same dark. It, it's definitely gonna make Makes things it look flat, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, worst case, you can make you can even make shapes on a face when it's actually not there. Yeah, but it's like. I don't know, the funny thing is that what makes up a realistic portrait is just tones. There's just different types of tones, right? There's the uh, the the well-known Munzel scale. Right? The Munzel scale is uh, 10 tones, 10 varied tones from <laughs> black to white, right? And then you have all those middle middle grade tones, right? And that's what makes up uh, the, the reality of three-dimensional, right? Because you have so many tones, then you have comparison makes things closer farther to light I don't know if you get what I mean yeah that's all it is what makes up the space is patches of black grays and white there's nothing to it well, it's, yeah. just, it's just the way you form it yeah I mean you have to know your anatomy yeah yeah that. yeah that too but everything else is right but that goes with drawing that's proportion wise that's just drawing this uh this particular drawing i started with um uh, what do they call it triangle no there's no, no no there's line drawings and there's um uh how long is the word there's two types of drawings there's line drawings which you, which is you draw the outline of the whole thing and then there's another one called, uh, it's not tone drawing, it's something else. Uh, uh, mass drawing, there you go. <laughs> mass. I should know that, you know, when you go to mass. <laughs> mass drawing? <laughs> mass drawing, so mass is basically shapes of forms. Like, for example, uh, this area, you see that? So you're shading that whole area, right? And then that's, that's a mass, right? And then it's planes. Is that easier to understand? Yeah, it's just big, 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 big shapes, basically. Yeah, so shapes, shapes with grades. Like, for example, like, if master and I want this whole area, right? So I see, okay, like, generally this whole area is in shadow, right? Because the light is coming from the, uh, if you see my pencils, the light's coming from the right, right? So what I'm going to do here is going to do mastering. So I'm going to block in, block in goes for everything. So this is more like line drawing, but mastering, you're probably filling in this whole thing here. One sec, and then here's some cross hotching. I was about to say hotching, hotching, hotching. Hot cross buns. Hot cross bun, hotching. I'm not hungry though. Granted, what does hot cross buns taste like? There's buns. That's it. What's the, what's the what's the hot cross then? They've been crossed. I think they're just buns. If everybody says hot cross buns, we'll see what they actually look like. We've never ate one. Oh. Did you eat one before? I don't think so. I guess it's just red at the end of the day. Hot cross buns. What does it even look like? It's, they're just buns. It's a cross on them. Oh. It's a spiced sweet bun made with currants or raisins marked with a cross on the top. Oh. Oh, it's an English thing. Oh, it is? Trisha has eaten on Good Friday in Great Britain, Ireland, Australia, Canada. Oh, okay. Interesting. UK. Wait, what day? Currants or raisins. Main ingredients, currants or raisins. It's like raisin bun, basically, but there's a cross on top. Oh, interesting. It's a sweet bun. Yeah, well, now we know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, shooting in more. In the eye. Does it ever get dark? Uh, does it ever? Get, uh, do you ever need it dark enough that you have to use charcoal or something like that? Well, charcoal. I don't think it would work with pencil because I don't think it would stick anymore. Oh, what, you mean on top of pencil? Yeah. Okay. How about the other way around? I think I think so. I tried that before. Yeah. How about pencil yeah, on charcoal? Around, but the thing is, like, I don't think the pencil can get as dark as charcoal. But if you did want the pencil. Why don't you just use a softer pencil? Okay, so you get a softer pencil to get darker. Okay. 
the reason why people use uh, pencil and charcoal is that um, charcoal is is generally harder to control. Mostly with lighter tones and darker tones. We'll say the lighter tones, let's put it that way. It's a lot harder to control, so that's why they do a lot of um, blending, like finger blending, like that. Where, where pencils, I guess you could, I just go straight with lighter, lighter strokes. And also, kneaded eraser is always needed. It's needed. Needable. Needable. So sometimes he's needed, sometimes he's not needed. No, he's, it's not. Just he's needable. Need. He's needable. No, needable means that you can you can. It's like dough. Right? No, needable means sometimes you need him, sometimes you don't need him. No, you always need him. <laughs> Unless you just don't want to erase, which is possible. Yeah, drawings without erasing, those are fun. Yeah, it's like it's like writing a story without erasing. You waste lots of paper. <laughs> Well, people just don't erase, they just crumple it. Mm, I don't know, it's the same thing, you waste lots of paper. Well, that's what they have computers right now. Just press yeah, control Z, control Z. The, the, they just press delete. Same thing. No, it's not. Delete is gone, and control Z, you still have a, a base thing. Is that her hair on the side? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. It stops there. Yeah, because it's, it's, uh... Did you make it, like, flowing out? I don't know. No, it's, uh, what do you call it? It's, like, the strands are, like, bent in, so she has, like, a scarf thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. I just have to kind of like line up a little bit more <laughs> so you can actually see it. Yeah, I'm like, uh, that didn't look right, but it wasn't done, so I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe one slightly out. Because cause the, the, the Russian hats don't have any straps, right? It's not no, like, no. yeah, it's just a hat. Well, I guess most hats don't have straps, right? So she's wearing a, a somewhat of a scarf. Oh, uh, okay. But her scarf looks weird, like the original one. Let's go here. It looks like a mop. A mop? Okay. Or it looks like a very, it, it's a very frilly thing. Looks like the, uh, the Baroque, those frill things they had. No, 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 like messy frilly, like. Oh, okay. It was just, it was just, it was just put there. You know those Christmas tree things? Those, uh, those long straps of, uh, flashy things? Flashy things? Like frilly, like a lot of, it's like a moth, but it's like the long strings that you wrap around the Christmas tree. Oh, those yeah, things. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it looks like that. Oh. Like, like an elongated pom-pom, basically. Yeah, or like a, like a stretched out pom-pom. Yeah. Okay. You don't want that? No, uh, no it doesn't really look good. But I, I like really don't know <laughs> what I would do for the bottom. Because that pretty much dominates the, most of the bottom. Anything under the neck. You don't even see her neck. Oh, okay. You can put, uh... I don't know how, my, how good my imagination might be with this stuff. <laughs> you can try to find a scarf of some sort. It's better. Oh, put one of those uh, fur things. Like, oh, like, those. like, uh... Yeah, you know, top is, the top... Hat is fur, right? Yeah. Put a bottom a scarf, but that's also fur. One of those, uh... Oh, okay. Then I'll have to find reference for that. Yeah, just do like a big fur ball. Big ball of fur. Big ball of fur. I'll finish the person first. Before I get down there. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Give her fangs. No. <laughs> Vampire. <laughs> you know, va vampires don't show their cheeks. <laughs> like, they're not that stupid. <laughs> Expose their secrecy. Especially, yeah, especially with their mouth closed, eh? I guess you wouldn't see their teeth. They're not that, it's not that long. No. 
Wow. No, no, it's like it's that long and to the point where if they have their mouths closed, you can still see the fangs. That's that's probably just anime logic. Girls with fangs, even with mouth closed, you see fangs. Oh yeah, you got guys like that too. <laughs> Those people with pointy teeth. I don't get that. Uh oh. Red? Oh yeah, there's a few characters like that. <laughs> Who else is like that? Pointy teeth. Uh, Gaju's like that, and uh, Welcome to the Ballroom. Okay. Kisami from Naruto is like that. Uh, Inuyasha. Well, he's a, he's a demon, so... Well, so is Inuyasha. Yeah, so. so is Shippo. Yeah, Shippo has pointy teeth. Yeah, Shippo is the best. Did you just stay that small? I think those type of demons just stayed that small, right? Oh, okay. I mean, they don't grow up or anything, okay. Watch Eccentric Family. That's so good. Uh, it's Tanaki's. <laughs> if you like Was it that good? It is really good. Okay. Like, so, like you, you thought it was like, uh, apparently it's a good slice of life. It's a good balance. Like the storyline uh, is really good. Okay. I think it's like even 9 or a 10. I really liked it. Mm -hmm. like, char like usually, but it's a, it's a really well-rounded show. Like characters are all very unique and very well um, uh, Built, let's say, mm -hmm. right? And then is very good, right? It's not too cliche or anything. And then it's got a good taste of traditional yokai stuff, but it's not too. And it's it's got good comedy. <laughs> it's got good comedy. <laughs> it's go. just so hilarious, just some of the parts. Oh, uh, let's put it this way: like the show has a very good sense of life. Mm, okay. Yeah, I like may actual life. I may watch it. I may watch it. It's very down to earth. Mm. Even though it's about you guys, it's very down to earth. Okay. Like I mean, I don't prefer the Japanese folklore shows. I mean, I've watched uh, Kamisama. Inuyasha. Yeah, Ini Inuyasha was one of those. Kamisama Hajime was another one. That was, that was actually good. That was that's that was probably good the, comedy. that was probably the best <laughs> one that was uh, Japanese folklore based. The other ones I wasn't too crazy about. I mean, Natsume was good. Yeah, Natsume was good too. You didn't finish watching it. It's like, like six seasons. I think I'm like one season off. I think I watched five seasons. Oh, did you? Yeah, I think I have like, I think the newest season I haven't watched. I only watched like one of <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it takes a while. I mean, each season is like, I think 24 episodes. Not or is it 12? I can't remember if it's, uh, maybe, no, maybe it's, it's 12. Oh, it could be 24. But yeah, it takes, uh, it takes no, a while. Number six, I think it's only 13 episodes. Yeah, I mean, it takes a while to, to watch the whole thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Hats. 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 I'm hatching. Hatching. What are you hatching? The hair. Oh, no eggs. No. Well, no. <laughs> I don't sit on it. More eggs, shadow. Right? Yeah, you'd break them. More shadow. That's More sad. shadow. <laughs> Just the way you said it. That's sad. More shadow. Snippy, 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 snippy. Puffs. Oh, did you try those puffs before? I've never tried puffs They're before. They feel heavenly. They feel heavenly? <laughs> like, you know why? when your nose feels raw after you rub it so much? If you sneeze and stuff and you blow your nose and it gets so raw that it, it hurts when you rub dry tissue. But those tissues are covered in lotion and it's very soft. It's just so expensive. You're like... Six dollars a box. I think six dollars a box. That's freaky. Like maybe if like if you get like a a sale, you get it for four bucks a box. It's like four bucks a box. It's a piece of tissue. There's lotion on it. It's lotion. You can actually just get tissue and squeeze some lotion. On it. <laughs> More work. No, it's not. You just have to wait till it dries, and then you can do. If you wait for it to dry, it'll become hard. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah. Lotion? Sure, it does. No. Water does. Yeah, lotion's not water. I'm pretty sure it would get hard to some extent. Yeah, you leave it for six years. <laughs> you leave anything for six years, even you. You leave you for six years, you're gonna be dried out. <laughs> and you didn't give you high, uh, like water. Well, the, yeah. Speaking of that, does that that needed eraser dry out? It does. Oh, it does, eh? It does. So, uh, what happens when it dries out? Just you just throw it out. Yeah, because it's like. 
Like sticky tack. Sticky tack dries out. No, it doesn't. Sticky tack never dries out. That's the problem. If it dried out, I would be happy. You think you just scrape Good it off? Sticky tack. Never dries out. Otherwise, you'd be able to scrape it off your wall. Sticky tack. The bad sticky tack actually gets uh, gooier and gooier as the years go by. <laughs> Yeah, and then sticky it, tack dry, uh, dried up. No, it doesn't. Gum does. Yeah, but that's gum. Ew. <laughs> if gum didn't dry up, it'd be uh, much easier to... Well, I don't know if it'd be easier or harder to remove from the bottom of desks. Oh, you know? Like, that always <laughs> gives me nightmares. Like, it gives me nightmares to seeing other people do it, too. Because you just, like... And the funny thing when they scrape, they have to open their mouth. They're like, you don't keep their mouth shut. I, I never so got hilarious. that. I never got that. You know, they should get people wearing masks. When they do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, Come up your mouth before something goes in it. Well, people don't believe you till something goes in it. Oh, like a bug? Yeah. Spider? Yeah, it's like riding a bike, but you keep your mouth open when you're riding a bike. Something goes in. We learned that from dogs. <laughs> you learned that from dogs. <laughs> right? We keep our mouth open. Stick uh, our tongue out. Yeah, when you're uh, when you're at the, uh, you're sitting in, in the front seat of the car, head out the window. That's dangerous. Not for dogs, apparently. Oh, is it not? I don't know. They're faster than you. No. Yeah, their reactions are faster than you. Well, me. But I'm... <laughs> Yeah, my, my reflexes are special. <laughs> yeah. They're special at making people laugh. What? Yeah, you have, you have one of these, like, really extreme reflexes where you're either very, very... No, you know what? Yeah, no, you, no you're always very slow. It comes from, <laughs> I was going to say, oh, you're I either really, really fast. Yeah, uh, I was going to say, you're either really, really fast at times, but then really, really slow at times. But I'm like, wait, that doesn't sound right. No, you're always slow. Always slow. Things about to happen. Things that are happening. Things that already happened. <laughs> Things that already happened. Yeah, Merry Christmas! It's March. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or worse, trick or treat! It's March. <laughs> oh, I thought you said it's Christmas. I uh, know, trick or treat. It's March. Happy Easter. It's June. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He's moved it! You're not supposed to move it! <laughs> Wait, Easter? I'm talking about the duck. He never waits for it. Wait, Easter, I haven't grabbed your eggs yet. <laughs> you haven't grabbed your eggs yet? I haven't grabbed your eggs yet. I'm trying to graduate for a sec. Graduate your eggs yet. Yeah, that's when they hatch. Your eggs have graduated. Hey, congratulations, your eggs have graduated. From what? Eggs. From being round and with a shell. Eggs were never round to begin with. <laughs> for being spherical and with a shell. Oh, you mean that they hatch? That's what I'm saying. Slow reaction. Slow reaction again. <laughs> That's what I said. Congratulations, your eggs have had. Your eggs have graduated. <clears throat> Slow reaction. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, welcome to the very slow and relaxing round ball drawing. You're leaving behind the hustle and bustle. Of what? <laughs> of the busy daily life stuff. <coughs> artists are friendly. No, not, not every artist. <laughs> Most artists yes. are friendly. I would say so, at least the ones that I've met. I haven't met one like the one in Logan River Paul. You guys chase the hands. <laughs> Sanitizer. <laughs> Remember? Which movie? Paul. Remember? The, the comic Alien artist. Paul? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember that, that one uh, comic artist? Uh, where they Remember they shook hands? I have to watch that movie again. It's that was so a good movie. Funny. That was a good movie. <laughs> Okay, mama. Mamba, mamba. Mamba. Thumba. 
You tried to answer that. Samba. Good luck. I'll probably, oh yeah, I'll probably break my back. <laughs> <laughs> Almost likely. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> I can imagine that. Yeah. What's that one called where you have to go under the pole? Oh, limbo. Limbo. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I, I I'll definitely break my back if I do that one. Oh, you should watch that one. That one where they invited uh, three different groups of idols, and then they had everybody do the limbo. So, so whichever team gets through the limbo first, um, first they... or most people. You said teams, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Are you just like... Yeah, I'd run. I got through most, the. Most. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I thought, but just want to make sure. Want to make sure we're on the same page here. Okay, it's the most. So, so the, the most team members actually make it. Okay, through. yeah, okay, yeah, that's better. Right. So yeah, then, and then some were just like, just this one guy that was like, he was flexible going under. He was flexible going up, <laughs> like jumping over the stick. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh wow, this person's like gymnastics. Yeah, pretty much. I was like, like he could bend like really low. I wonder what the lowest was. It was like. Under a meter. Yeah. Okay. That's like real. It's like trying to bend her, uh, bend under a meter. It's like, but some girls is like, why don't you take your high heels off? <laughs> 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 oh my god. It's like, they oh. lose because they're high heels. That's uh quite. Yeah, quite some lame. people want to take their shoes off apparently. Well, I guess it's understandable at some point. I would take my shoes off. More traction. Sweaty feet on uh. No. Oh. Less traction. Oh, less traction. Okay. I was gonna say, just take off your socks too. Sweaty feet on uh, hardwood floor. Traction. You might bend the wrong way. Yeah, you may. F you might fail to bend the wrong way. You want to slide, but you can't. Too much traction. Yeah, uh, this is uh, this is one uh, uh, K-pop girl who's like she. She's like the most flexible person you can ever meet, but she didn't make it to the limbo because apparently she bent it like this. And then the top, the her stomach part didn't go lower. She didn't bend her legs. They go. She just bent like like a U. And then she's like, ah! And she makes a sound. And goes, ah! and she goes and then she walks and it just hits the stick. I was like, oh. oh my god, that was so hilarious though. There's a way of doing it right. Yeah, I think you have to bend your legs and do the splits at the same time and walk. So it's like a not the splits, but just. Well, I guess kind somewhat, of. Somewhat. Somewhat. Okay, more shadow. Hey. Okay, so now we're moving more towards the hat. Where's the top of the hat? Have you uh, decided where the top is going to be? Deciding now, as we speak. Yeah. I mean, how tall is this? Yeah, right about there. Seems about right. Okay. Not like, not like above the page. That's very. Yeah, it'd be too tall, right? And when the the hat has to sustain to itself, this hat has to, has to, has to, has to sustain. Other yeah, otherwise it crumbles under its own weight. Yeah, pretty much. No, no, the wind will just blow it away. Too big. No, Could you. Can you imagine how heavy the hat is? If it was made all out of fur and and like twice the size it is now, yeah, it'd be pretty heavy. Oh, what, I know. What is, what is hat made out of? Like cardboard? Something's living in it. <laughs> what? And something's living in it. That sounds scary. I'm not wearing a hat. I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. You're making things so scary. The taller the hat, the, then something definitely living lives in it. Oh my god. <laughs> if the hat is only a couple inches off your head, something might be living in it. But it's very unlikely. <laughs> If the, if the hat is for top hats. if the so hat is like six inches hat. tall, uh, something's likely to be living in it. Something maybe, like, maybe not. If the hat is more than six inches tall, something's definitely living in it. If the hat is longer than the face, watch out! It might jump out. <laughs> From the bottom or the top? I don't know. Lift it up. Lift the hat up. Yeah, lift the hat up. Something oh, might jump out at you. You know, it reminds me of fairy <laughs> A fairy? Yeah. Oh. Not Cuba, someone else. <laughs> okay. Oh, fairy wouldn't be too bad. 
You know, like, it's funny how, like, I guess there's different folklores and different interpretations of fairies. Like, what's the difference between a siren and a mermaid? They're the same thing, aren't I they? I think they're the same thing. I think siren is like the more pro is the proper term for them. Let's see, siren. Oh, so mermaid is a is a later term. Yeah, mermaid <sighs> is like. So they all eat people. Because <laughs> yeah, well, because mermaid is female, right? Siren could be both. Siren, oh, so? yeah. I think they're mostly female. Mermaid. I think siren is like more. And what about merfolk? Creatures who lure near Sarah. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, merfolk and siren. Hmm. I don't know what the difference is. Uh, mere people. <laughs> Female mer person, mer man, mer boy. Eh. So mer boy? Eh, I don't know. Mer folk. Video. Uh, merfolk. I think merfolk is like strictly Magic the Gathering. Oh, really? From the looks of it, yeah. Yeah, I think merfolk is strictly Magic the Gathering term. Oh, they, so they made their own mermaid. Yeah, tree. pretty much. Merfolk. <laughs> this merfolk is like their thing for Siren. Oh, there must have been some type of of, of siren type uh, oh, but creatures. Yes. Yes. yes, but in. Uh, I really, I still love that um, that guidebook with all. The did you read the novels? No. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah, read the novels. Novels are good. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure in Tolkien's story somewhere there's you can find sirens. It's not oh. in the Lord of the Rings movie. Oh no. <clears throat> but in Tolkien's uh, storyboard, I'm pretty sure there's somewhere where he has sirens. Oh, did you check out that illustration of Tolkien? The book that we have? It's still there. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, remember we got it at that, um... Go to the old bookstore. Yeah. Used bookstore. Lots of good treasures there. Used bookstores are... I like used bookstores. Yeah. Like some of the books you just can't find. Mostly like the, the yeah. older editions. Yeah, yeah but I mean so a book's meant to be read, right? So it doesn't matter if you buy a book new for ten dollars or if you buy it used for five dollars. The information's the same. Yeah, and some of the new books aren't necessarily good. No, but I'm just saying for the same it's it, the information's it's nice the to same. Have new books, yes. It's a nice feeling, but um it's like unless if there's like there's this you have this weird fetish for for, like, new books. You don't have a fetish. You just have to have OCD. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> More hair. Short hair. Mm, not really. It's just strands of long hair that's been curled up. Looks like you're short hair. I guess, right? But just probably because it's, you don't see the bottom yet. Yeah, you know what? Leave it to the leave it to the imagination of the viewers. That's probably the best way to do it. Just keep it as is and let the viewers decide if they want short hair, if they want to imagine short hair or long hair. Yeah, I'm really moving on to the hat. Move, move, move that hat. Move that hand. Hat or hand? Hand, move the hand, move yeah. that hand. Move that hat. Move go, that go, hat. go, 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 go. Harry. 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 We can't go any faster than this. I still admire that eye robot. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so he gets the whole drawing out. Like, oh, uh, wow. Uh, yeah. And he's scribbling with two hands. <laughs> is he doing like, two hands? Yeah. I thought he only did it with one. No, I think he did two drawings. Mm. Oh, no, I think he did one drawing, but he scribbled with two hands. Uh, okay. I can't do it. Have mind? you seen an artist do that before? Draw with two hands together at the same time? I've never seen that. Uh, like, are you saying drawing two different stuff? No, no, the same drawing. Oh. I've never seen that. Have you seen that on Instagram before or anything like that? I've never seen that before. That what? actually be pretty refreshing. 
It's so difficult to, to control, I know, though. Right. This, you only have one mind. And you can only look at one area. Yeah. At a time, right? uh, that'd be pretty Unless interesting. Unless if you're just, like, scanning all the time. That might be possible. Mm, even then. But, but then it's like you have to be good at with both hands. Yeah. Uh, I mean, most, most artists have a dominant hand. Well, most people have a dominant hand. Yeah, usually, yeah, you mean people usually ask if you're if you're right-handed or left-handed, not both-handed. Are you both-handed? Are you omni-handed? Uh, for painting, yes. Are you, you're omni-handed with painting? Yeah. You paint so with both hands at the same time. Oh, you have to do it at the same time. Yeah. Not one or one. I don't know. Maybe. Sometimes I paint with my left hand. Sometimes I brush my teeth with my left hand. Yeah, when your right hand's busy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, do you eat your chopsticks with, uh, right or left? I actually never tried eating with my left hand, did I? Yeah, you speck up the food. You can eat with your left hand. Anybody can eat with their non-dominant hand. All you have to do is pick up food. No. I mean, brushing your teeth with your left hand is very different from drawing with your left hand. Much more complicated. Well, piano, you have nothing to say because it's supposed to play with your left <laughs> Even hand. with piano, you have a dominant hand. Most times, it's the right hand. Most times. Because, yeah, again, you have the bass taking over that Yeah, because lead. most people are right-handed. That's why they wrote most piano music to be mostly right-handed. It's always right the same for cello players or, or like violin. Well, both hands are doing different things. Well, piano, same thing. And to a certain extent. <laughs> well... Except for scales. <laughs> I mean... But even then, you're still doing different things because you start with pinky. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you, you still have a dominant hand even in that case. Dominic's hand. And my mouse is still broken. Uh, was Rachmaninoff's hands the biggest? Yeah, he had like a super, super wide stretch. It was crazy. I think so it was not, like. Not many people can play his pieces. Like no, I mean. Yeah, I mean, yes and like, no. Do people get hurt? Trying to stretch? Yeah. Well, yeah, probably. Yeah, you're not supposed to stretch that much. I mean, he had a he had a reach of I think how many keys? Like thirteen keys or something. Like, yeah, I mean, most people can reach nine. Like I can, I can reach eight. Eight is normal. You, no, like being able eight, to... eight is already starting to feel very uncomfortable for me. Nine feels very uncomfortable. Yeah, eight. Most people Ten should I be. Can't reach. Yeah, uh, <laughs> most people should be able to reach an octave, which is eight keys. Uh, I can reach nine and a half. So. Do you practice to do that? Uh, yes and no. I mean, you don't really do much practice to, to gain a stretch. I mean, you can. But do you, you think that's careful. kind of like? Do you think so? That's like, uh, like, uh, girls having uh, an, an advantage over. Yeah, to a certain extent. Yeah, because your because you're, your stretch isn't as wide. But I mean, you can, you, yeah. I mean, yeah. But you can circumvent a lot of that. It's not like, oh, you can't can you do it. Can you replace the notes? Oh sure. But it wouldn't sound the same though. No, but I mean, if you know how to, it's it's not a horrible. Uh, Alisa de la Russia has my very small hands. Martha? No, Alisa de la Russia. Oh. Uh, I think she's from Spanish? Spain. Yeah, I think yeah, she's yeah. Spanish. Well, the very, older. Yeah, well, she does a lot of everything, but she has very very small hands. Like she plays like <laughs> like the big, all the biggest biggest repertoire, so it's like yeah, there's no limit. The hungry station. Well, it's like it's like drawing. You don't need to have five fingers to draw. No, you can only use three fingers, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or or just two, right? The other two are just there, getting dirty. Are there getting dirty? 
I mean, it really depends how you hold your pencil, too. Oh, there's no right or wrong way to hold a pencil. I'm sure there's better than worse ways. Yeah, but like the most really awkward, comfortable. Oh, no, wait. No, no, I mean, like... there's probably better or worse ways as far as control goes. Well, some positions are easier to control than others. I mean, if you hold your but pencil that, like you grab no, a... No, no, but that depends on the person, too. Again. Mm. Right? It has to. Yeah, I guess so. And just to have it. Mm, yeah. Right? I mean, you're I... holding this pencil like like this for your life, and then you try to change it, of course it's going to be different. Uh, I mean, if you try to grip it like you grip, I don't know, like a, like a handle or something, that's probably quite hard to control. Yeah, like that. I mean... I mean, it could be done. <laughs> it's quite slow. Poke a hole. Poke a hole through the paper. No. If you're not careful. <sighs> yeah, but more precision, more precision stuff, my left hand is not, so. Well, it's all training, I guess. Yeah. If your left hand is, draws... <sighs> If you if you get your if you make your left hand draw for as many hours your right hand has drawn up until now, it'll get pretty good. Oh yeah. Just that the right hand takes all the time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> Every time I grow grab the pencil, right hand just I'm going first. Left hand just, wait. <laughs> yeah, you don't have those fight over. Left hand fight over right hand. It's like, oh, no, 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 I'm gonna pick the pencil. <laughs> that would be weird because then nobody nothing would get done. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my, my right, my left hand's not letting my right hand draw. He's like, that would be actually quite weird because that would mean like that your hands have like a mind of their own, <laughs> and you're just sitting there watching. It's like you can't actually do anything. You have to like I don't know, scream at them or or go and bite them or something. <laughs> yeah, you try violently slapping. <laughs> uh, that'd be funny. It's almost like a uh, parasite. Where the hand actually oh, has a mind yeah. of its own because it's an alien. Yeah, it got, yeah. It hand got know. eaten by the parasite. It's like, what did you do to my hand? I ate it. You ate it? It's like, I was like, <laughs> that was unbelievable. It was so funny. Did you finish that anime? No, I never started it. Oh, you didn't watch it? I no, thought you watched it. I just watched a trailer. Oh, so what'd you that watch? The movie? movie? No, I didn't watch the movie. Oh, okay. I thought you watched that show for some reason. Oh, yeah, for some reason I thought you watched that show. Uh, maybe I should, because it's quite the psychological, psychological one. It, you probably think I've watched Ajin. I did watch Ajin. No, that I know you've watched. <laughs> yeah, that was the 3D one I wasn't a big fan of. You know, oh, just one, just one that I... I hope they, I hope they're not taking that route and they're changing all the animes into, like, the, th oh. the CG 3D stuff, because I really don't like it. There's a lot of new shows that are like that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. There, yeah but they're not. That's like I know there's new shows. I mean, there's some studios who are who are uh, adopting that, but I, I just hope that not not all the major studios start doing that at some point because uh, it it would change well, anime you never quite know, a bit. Because it's kind of like what it Disney will. did. Because Disney for the longest time was just these 2D characters, right? But right. then at one point they started transitioning to the 3D CGs, and that's kind of when I lost it. When I kind of, kind of Disney lost me kind of thing, I don't mm. watch much Disney. Anymore. I mean the cartoon stuff. I mean the the live action I still watch. But the well, now a lot of stuff are transitioning to redesigning. Yeah, and yeah I don't like that. It doesn't look. Uh, I don't know. I just like. Just... Would you prefer Disney having real people play it better? Yeah, I mean the real people ones are fine, and the and the two D cartoons are fine. I'm just not a big fan of the three D ones. That's just uh, me. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just uh, <clears throat> just getting. Doesn't. It. doesn't Rub you the right yeah, way? it just does just rubs you the wrong way, I guess. Like just the way they look. Yeah, yeah, the way they look and the and their anatomy and whatever. I mean, their anatomy probably has to change from the two D ones, but uh, well. no, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not it's not the anatomy, like, it's just what, the way they what look. What did you have to say for that Despicable Me guy? Like he's got such a round belly. Which Despicable Me guy? The guy with the the really long nose. Oh. Oh, that the guy. The main guy, like the, 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 the... What's his name, Drax? I think it's the Drax, right? No, I think it's uh, Let's take it, let's Google it. Despicable. Yeah, but him, like, and he's got such skinny legs. Yeah, it's I know. Like, it's like... It's like Corpse Bride, right? What, what would you say? I love that. 
but, but it's like, what would you say for, or even Night Ripple for Christmas, right? What do you Felonious? Gru. Yeah, Gru. Felonious. Okay, Felonious is his name. Okay. Dexter. <laughs> Dr. Nefario. Bob the Minion. Oh, they have names? Stuart. Oh, I yeah, they I guess they, I guess do, they have do have names. Yeah. Yeah. Which many. is the one with the one eye? The little one? There, oh, Stuart. Stuart. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Mm-hmm. There's more of them. There's Mark, no, Jerry. No, there's, oh, I don't know. there's hundreds of them. <laughs> Try to remember their name, all of their names. That's, Despicable that's, uh, me. Box office made five hundred forty-three million dollars. Wow. Yeah. So millions. Let's see the Spickle movie too. Who we'll made more money? Oh, nine hundred seventy million dollars. Popular. What about Minions? Oh, Minions the movie. I guess, one, yeah. I guess they did have their own movie. Minions. Movie. Oh my god. 1.1 billion dollars. Yeah, they were the popular people. Yeah. Okay. So they were... Okay, they grossed even more. Okay. Probably end up doing a shorter stream today. Yeah. We're all sniffly. You're just still getting over your cold too. Yeah, a little bit. Well, I guess we, it's pretty good. We made progress on the drawing. So. Mm -hmm. <clears> That's always nice. Okay. Want to end it here? Oh, I mean, you can keep going for a little bit more, I guess. What else? Well, there's a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there is. getting the right value and stuff. Yeah, value is definitely important. You're more like, oh no, it's too dark. Oh no, it's too light. Well, I think so you're more worried about the too dark part. The color is too light. Because you can only go so light, right? Because I'm not the white is too light. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ever tried drawing on toned paper? Uh I don't know if I did. I don't think so. But toned paper is like it's just a quicker way to sketch in um uh, drafts. That's what artists used to use it for. So because uh, all your middle tones are all are basically there, so now all I have to do is make up the the lighter tones, these highlights, which they use white chalk, and darker tones they usually use charcoal. Uh. Yeah. Where where for white paper you have to shade in the lighter tones and keep keep the highlights. 
Oh, I don't give her panda eyes. I don't. <laughs> what are you fussing about? I do. Panda eyes. Take a more dark. This is only using fingers. It actually blunts? Yeah, it does. Random, random, random tap tapping. And I'm just gonna make it so dirty. Yeah, sometimes blending it does make it dirty, but that's why you go over it again. That's why you go wash your hands before you touch your own face. No. The nice thing about drawing is you can you can you can do to the drawing anything that you wouldn't be able to do to a real person in real life. No, you can't. You just have got guts. <laughs> pretty, pretty deep guts. Well, who taps on the face like that? Oh no, actually, I do do it to myself when when I'm doing a uh, skincare. I do that mostly around the eyes. Tap it in. Make it make it absorb more. Absorb. Observe. Make it observe more. Like what observes it? Like the eyes? Mm-hmm. Or is it observing? I don't know. It must be observing somewhere. Observing somewhere. Observe. I didn't like that kind of the tap it here and tap it. I was going the wrong way. How do you have to, how do you know you have to throw out your uh, needed eraser? Does it get to a point where it doesn't erase anymore? Uh yeah, because it, it already uh, cause what it is uh, it's just removing lead, so it picks up that lead and just kind of heats it. Heats it. Yeah, until a point it can't heat anymore. Because it's full. Yeah. And then you say goodbye. Yeah. You discard it. I get discarded. Unless it's one got really, really stepped on and he just can't use it anymore. Yeah, because it ate out. Because it it ate it, it things other than lead. Yeah, and it's so yucky. And then mostly when it falls on carpet, you have hair on it. Uh, hair, dust. Yeah. It does become like blue at some point. But does it? Yeah. Oh. If you play with it too much. Yeah. If it molests it too much, it becomes like goo. Oh my god. Yeah, like, you have to be aware mostly in the summertime. Like, winter is not bad. Throw oh. outside. <laughs> just throw, throw it outside. outside. <laughs> if it's cold in the eyes, I could just throw it outside. Have you ever frozen one before? What would happen if you freeze one and then defrost it? Uh, I don't know, never tried. Don't. <laughs> Maybe I should try it. Don't try throw it on your the, own. <laughs> throw in the you deep, don't have one. Throw in the freezer and then uh, let it freeze into, like, a block of... Would it even become a block of Don't ice? Throw it. <laughs> no. Would it even become a block? Is there even water in there? Well, there must be some kind of water. Like there's water oil. in the air. No, no, no. I'm thinking it's probably oil in there instead of water, right? Mm. Well, something's know. binding it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Something like has to bind it. and glue, right? Yeah. Okay. I wonder if they're recyclable or not. The needable erasers. I wonder, I wonder if regular erasers are recyclable or not. That's actually a good question. Like rubber eraser? Yeah. Can you recycle them? Because they're not technically rubber. Let me Google it. When in doubt, ask Google. Can you recycle needed eraser? Well, you can recycle pencils, I guess. Well, yeah, because they're wood. Tool for artists. Nobody says. Let's take a look. Recycled pencils getting recycled and made into more recycled pencils. Wow. Ah, erasers are one of the items that cannot simply be tossed in the recycling bin. Instead, Adding to the endlessly mounting landfill issue. 
so I guess no. How do you break in a kneadable, a kneaded eraser? What do you mean? How to make a kneaded eraser soft. Number one, place new kneaded eraser in front of you. Number two, tear off a piece of the eraser that is approximately one quarter the size of the whole rectangle. Number three, pull the pieces of eraser between your fingers as if you were playing with a piece of gum or making taffy and stretching it. Four, press the piece of eraser into a bowl. More items. Let's see how big. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun reading it. No, it's not. Oh, sure it is. I find it not. Oh, look at the, okay, let's do this one. What are the side effects of eating eraser? <laughs> Oh, 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 stop, stop. I'm going to read it. What are the signs and symptoms of pencil eraser poisoning, vomiting, stomach or abdominal pain, obstruction of the bowel if large quantities are swallowed, consumed, children may choke on pencil erasers leading to coughing, breathing difficulties, and chest pain. Going? Yeah. Like eating it? Yeah. What's in it? Okay, let's Google. What is it? What makes... Chemicals. Most what likely. is an eraser made of? What is eraser made out of? Um... Less expensive erasers are made from synthetic rubber and synthetic soy-based gum. Oh, it's soy. But more expensive Vegan. or specialized... <laughs> <laughs> but more expensive or specialized erasers are vinyl, plastic, or gum-like materials. Chewing gum. Chewing gum, yeah, basically. So it means if you swallow it, you won't, you're not going to poo it out. Not for seven years. Mm. <laughs> I still don't know why people swallow gum whether they know they're not supposed to. I don't think they're supposed to. I think they just do it by accident, most people. I don't think anybody deliberately swallows gum. That would be quite strange. Yeah. That would be quite strange. I guess that's why you don't get choked gum. Yeah, yeah. Well, choking hazard too, but... Yeah, strawberries gives you choking hazards too. Strawberries? Yeah, you eat five at the same time. <laughs> well, I think if you eat five of anything at the same time, it probably give you choking hazard. Oh, that person that died because of a donut. Which one was that? Um, speed. Oh, speed? the yeah, 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 the. That was just like. <sighs> yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, those speed eating contests. Like, dude, you just like die of eating a donut. donut. Well, I hope <sighs> I hope you like donuts, and you weren't just in for the for the prizes. I hope you, I hope you were genuinely genuinely liked donuts to be willing to die for one. <laughs> I could, when people say I could die for a donut, they don't usually mean that. In a literal way. No. It's just that they, they really want one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one, this person literally died for a donut. No, it's for many donuts. I think it's not just mm, one. Okay, okay. That's fair. Yeah, he didn't make it through the first donut and he died. Really? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm just saying, no, but... I'm, I'm, that would be pretty... Yeah. Mm, yeah, that, mm, that wouldn't be very good. Anyway. Like, I would rather eat... Less donut, but at least I'd be able to eat it for a long time, than to eat too much at once and just, I don't know. Die from a donut. You get donut, oh, you, get, like... you get donut poisoning. Donut poisoning? Too many donuts. No, it's not dough poisoning. Dough poisoning? No, you're probably, you're, your stomach's probably gurgling. No, I don't think, no, you probably choke before half of that happens. On dough? Oh sure. On bread? You choke on bread. 
You swallowed too much, too fast. You know most uh, eating competitions, they don't chew, right? They just swallow. Yeah, they that's use the water, so water, and swallow. Yeah, they don't chew. Oh, that's so bad. Yeah, that's why they say eating competitions are bad for you. There's a reason for that. Yeah, and that's just like, like regular eating. Imagine eating spicy stuff. Oh my god. Uh, it it it'd be cool, but again, depends how much spicy food you can handle. No, like really. Spicy. I mean, you're if, if you're doing an eating contest, you probably don't even taste it. No. Very likely, you don't even taste what you're eating. You just want to chug it down as quickly as possible, faster than the guy sitting beside you. Yeah, I I don't, I don't find. They that. have that uh, annual eating contest in like different parts of the states and around the world. I mean, there's I I think I watched this thing on TV where uh, they, uh, they interviewed I'm this sure, guy. I'm pretty sure there's like ambulance there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, they interviewed this guy. So this 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 crown world world champion. Um. They eat sandwiches or something. I think he, in the in this in the space of like I think ten minutes he ate like a or maybe 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 it's like half an hour. I can't remember exactly how long the contest. Was, but he ate like a hundred and thirty something sandwiches. It's like oh my god, that's a lot of sandwiches. How many calories is that? Uh, lots of calories. I'm pretty sure if you're doing that kind of competition, you don't really care about calories. Otherwise, uh, you'd have a heart attack before you even start. Yeah, you must probably be like a well, little healthier. Eat, yeah, but I mean, after you eat all that, you don't want to do anything. You feel really bad. I think so. You probably go somewhere and just puke it out. No, you don't. You just go somewhere and just lie down, and that's all you do. You just don't do anything. You just try not to do anything until every until your body starts digesting. It feels like a snake. Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, basically, except your body isn't built. Like the snake's body, right? Snake's bodies are meant to do that. Human bodies aren't. But they don't move, though. You're not. Remember, the remember snakes? What, yeah, remember what a friend said? Um, like he would feed this uh, this his snake, his pet snake, a rat, and he couldn't move him, or else the snake's gonna die. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. You couldn't. You can't move him. Like you can't take him out of the cage, clean the cage. You can't move him. Oh, I guess they're digesting or something. Yeah. Yeah, cause snakes, cause snakes don't chew either. Mm, no, they just use their uh, their acid, the the, the um, yeah. acid in their stomach, right, to melt. Yeah, yeah, snakes don't chew. Well, whatever gets in there is probably dead because there's just no oxygen. Oh uh, yeah. That includes people, right? Yeah, if the snake's big enough, yeah, sure. Like a boa. Yeah, that'd be pretty, pretty, pretty big boa. Well, boas can eat crocodiles. No, they can't. Yeah. Boas eat crocodiles? I don't think so. Yeah, they swallow them. Mm, small crocodiles. Oh, big ones like alligators. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> alligators. Look, like she's got a beard. <laughs> got a beard. Like it. Yeah, I think the hatching's too hard or something. Okay, nothing's interesting here. All right, seems good. Okay. Well, we made some made some progress. Yep. So that's Oh, it's more like detail. It's more on the looks, more on the eyes. I'm kind of refining it more. Now it's more like refining because there's nothing. Because everything's in place, right? You know yeah. where the eyes are, you know where the lips are, you're not going to change, do major changes like that. No, now it's just making it look realistic, just playing with tones. Hmm, okay. <sighs> yep. Alright, okay. um, thanks all for joining. Yes, it's uh, more of a shorter stream this week, but uh, we'll see what we can do next week. Yes, next thank Sunday. you for joining. I hope you guys had fun too, seeing me kind of. Touch up and kind of refining more of the uh, the girl. So yeah, seeing a little bit of uh, work in progress. That's something different from you, what we usually do. Yep. Not an anime we're drawing this week. This is mm -hmm. more realistic drawing. Yeah, but yeah. I think I'm probably gonna do more more of this realistic drawing. I feel like it's, it's actually quite relaxing. 
despite that, I don't actually have to think of like trading. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, like it's, it's it's different. I mean, and it, it actually, it actually, it's a it's a nice study, right? Because you actually learn. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, you definitely learn. I'm just yeah. saying, if you, sh I mean, this one you started from the middle, right? Because you already you had already yeah. uh, done some of the work prior to the yeah, stream. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't know what it would be like if you started the work on the stream and then continued afterwards. It could be very similar. I don't think it'd be super different. Mm, unless uh, if you actually want to deviate it. Yeah, no, no, but I'm just saying, try, I mean, then you it's more like getting the anatomy and where the placement of everything is. Right, or just like how, how to block it in. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it'd be more of that. But anyways. Yep. Well, thanks right. for everyone for joining, and I had fun. Hope you have fun too, Vic. Yeah, I had fun. Okay. Fun Even watching. Even though you weren't the person drawing. Even though I wasn't the person drawing. That's fine. <laughs> oh, nice cats. Nice yeah. cats. Yep. Okay, All right. so we'll see you next Sunday. Same time. At Same time. At 6 p.m. Mountain. I just see your finger flashing in and out in and out off my screen. It's like... <laughs> I'm playing piano. Yay. I got, like, really chunky fingers. Yeah, see? Like, another thing. Like, I've heard people's lips getting really, really, um, uh... Plump when they sleep and when they wake up, they're like, they're like, <laughs> really, they're like, really, yeah. And then after when they wake up, after then they, they look swollen. And that's every yeah. day. Yeah, apparently. Mm, interesting. I've never yeah. heard of that. And then my fingers sometimes get swollen <laughs> 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 when I draw too much. You know that's not true. <laughs> you, you could have said it was true. People would have believed you. I don't know. It gets swollen when I walk a lot because it's always downwards when you're walking. Sure. Right? Sure. Robot. Robot walking. <laughs> okay, I think I think we'll just leave it at that. Okay. Ooh. Emojis. Emo! I don't even like emos. The, uh, how do I... Do that one! No, 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 go back! Uh, how do I go back? Oh, it's the yokai one. Where is the yokai one? Oh, it's not the yokai. Uh... What's that, a pig? Uh... No, yeah, yeah, that guy, the little... Oh no, he's got tears now. Yeah, or you can do that guy, I don't know. Okay. Alright, so we'll end it there. Oh, Alright, okay. thanks everybody for joining. See you everyone, Kay. see you next week. Have fun, have, have a good night. Week.